Let's start uh, first with the move uh, to here and how you find out about it and then what happens to you from that moment to this moment? Uh, I got a call from uh, the GM in Colorado and just informed me about the move and then talked to my agent and, uh, and then talked to management here and, and kind of getting everything set up as far as travel and get the ball rolling to, to get here to Toronto. So it was a, a fast, kind of crazy 24 hours, but I'm really excited to be here. I, I think fans sometimes forget about the actual humanity of, <laughs> of your whole life is San Antonio, in San Antonio this year, and you're, you know, you've got an apartment, you got stuff, you got, how disruptive is that? Well, I think that was one of the, once I found out that was one of the first things was just kind of taking care of, of uh, the living situation, making sure all my bills are all paid up and, and good for the next, you know, till the end of the season and kind of figure out, you know, wrap those things up. So just kind of getting everything squared away and, and all that, but again, it, it was, it wasn't the, the greatest season in San Antonio as far as hockey and success, so I'm really looking forward to this opportunity. Hey, talk a little bit about that, and you look at uh, what you did in Albany, and, and certainly Marley's fans know exactly what you did. Is it tough to go through a year like that after you've had that kind of success and, and you know what you can do? Yeah, I mean, I've always had confidence in myself and my abilities and how I can help a team. and, and um, you know, obviously not having the individual success and the team success um, for a long stretch of time, it, it's frustrating, it's hard, and, and you start to really kind of overanalyze things. And, and so just getting a breath of fresh air and believing in yourself and getting the opportunity to play with a great team like this is, is uh, something I'm, I'm really excited about. Well, you guys had a great team last year, too, in Albany. Uh, it comes down to what uh, I think should have been a Calder Cup final uh, between uh, two incredibly talented teams. Uh, can you go through that seven game series from the other side of it? It's not a story that uh, you hear on the Marley side very often. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, playoffs is always the most memorable time of the year, positively and negatively. When you're putting in the work and practice and, and playing for each other and, and you're getting the success, you're getting rewarded and clinching the playoffs and moving on, uh, it, it's, there's nothing better than that. And that, that playoff run, there was a lot of positives, a lot of fun being had in that you know, month stretch we had. And especially the series against Toronto was a, a ton of fun and obviously ended in disappointment, but we had some great games up here and in Albany. And, and to get it to game seven in the way that it finished in that third period, it was very disappointing for us, but obviously very exciting for uh, for Toronto fans and Toronto players, so um, happy to be here and hopefully be on the right side again this year. Well, who comes to you at some point and says, "You know, you're a little better than just average. You you can you can you can make a life out of this." Well, I, I you know I always look to my parents. I think my mom's always been my biggest fan, and my dad's always been my hardest critic. So, you know, they're always have good things to say after games and and things I need to work on. So they keep me pretty grounded, but uh, I've been fortunate to have good coaches in the past that have always pushed me and believed in me and, and helped me advance on. There's some kid somewhere playing the game right now who is facing some adversity. You've likely faced the same. What do you say to that kid to say, is there more to say than just, just keep at it. Is there more than that to say? Well, I, I think you need to always have belief in yourself and not stray away from who you are and, and the strengths you have and, and really just work on what's gotten you to that point. You've had success in the past and continue to do those things day in and day out and, uh, and you'll, you'll work your way out of it. 